Good morning, good morning. Who is ready for part five? The last part of the Great Tennessee Yarn Tour. All month long in August 2023, I have been visiting 13 different yarn stores in East Tennessee. So far I've done 11 and today I'm going to do the final two. I started this trip with my two youngest children. Say hello! <laughs> and we're going to end this trip with my two youngest children. Today we're going to go to Two Roots Alpaca Farm in Greensville, Tennessee. I think that's where it is. And then we're going to go to the Carriage House in Kingsport, Tennessee. In between those, we're going to visit Bright's Zoo. This is a family zoo and my husband's brother, he just sent me a link about a spotless giraffe that was recently born in this Bright's Zoo. So a brand new baby giraffe calf, which sign me up, I will go see that any day. And this one doesn't have any spots. So I'm very excited to go see the zoo. Um, I thought, what a great uh, way to bring my kids. We're just gonna make a day out of it. Let's do part five of the Great Tennessee Yarn Tour. If you wanna see the other parts of this tour, uh, click down below. I'll have a link to everything below. I'll also have a playlist up in the corner here. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? To the zoo. To the zoo. Where, now? where else are we going? The light store. Yeah. And the alpaca. And the alpaca. Alpacas. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So here we go. A nice, beautiful drive throughout the mountains. Our first stop was Two Roots Alpaca Farm, home of very spoiled alpacas and fiber mill. Farm is run by a husband and wife duo. They took a liking to my children and we even got to meet the alpacas. So much fun. Hi girls. Come on in. Oh, we can come in. You want to come on in? Yeah. Okay. Hi honey. Do you want to give them a carrot or do you want to eat a carrot? The alpacas like to eat them too. <laughs> Blossom and Julia. Julia is one of our older ladies. Blossom. Oh, you're going to take them all. Oh. oh, yeah. That's Julia. Oh, <laughs> is that scary? Would they do all right if I let one of the babies out and it's about their size? I think so. Do you want to meet a baby? Baby alpaca. Is that a baby alpaca? This is Moonshadow. Hi, Moonshadow. Oh, you are I just know. cute. You. Oh, you are just cute. Petting these alpacas has got to be the highlight of the yarn tour so far. After feeding Moon Shadow, I was able to talk with Ruth Ann a little bit more about her business. Hello, I'm Ruth Ann Goss, um, co-owner of Two Roots Alpacas and Fiber Mill. So we have 55 alpacas, these wonderful creatures, and most of our yarn, the alpaca part, is from our alpacas. We have blends and 100% alpacas. We have lots of other things in the store. So this is for the yarn turn. This was our mini skeins. And we also have finished items. One of the things that we are in September, we'll be getting our new socks in and our socks are exclusively from our animals. We do the yarn and then they're knitted in Minnesota. So we look forward to seeing you soon. Attached to the yarn store was the mill where they turn the different wools and fibers into yarn. We were so lucky that we were able to get a tour of the mill. They were so great to my kids and showed them how everything works, like how yarn is stronger when it's twisted than when it's just a piece of wool. The kids did so great keeping their hands to themselves and not touching the machinery that they were able to take home a little fluff with them. After touring the mill, I made sure to grab my black mini skein, some roving, and a felting kit. Then we said goodbye to the alpacas and set off for the zoo. The kids loved Bright's Zoo so much, and who am I kidding? So did I. We saw ostriches, lemurs, and so much more. I was so surprised that this little zoo existed in rural Tennessee. We even had the opportunity to feed the giraffes. Yeah, oh, he's trying. Good job. Now, Piper, you can feed this one, okay? Can you just hold that up there like that? And let it you go. How perfect that is. That was so good. Yes. Right, Mama's turn. No, wait, wait, one more. Go, the carrots were gone, we saw the main attraction, the spotless baby giraffe. Isn't it so cute? I think it kind of looks like a horse with a long neck. Giraffes are my favorite animal in the whole world, so I was so excited that we were able to make this stop while doing the Tennessee Yarn Tour. But it's time to move on to the last stop. 
here we are at the carriage house. Let's go. This is my 13th and final destination of the Great Tennessee Yarn Tour. Let's go see what's inside. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. The carriage house. My kids were so exhausted by this point with no nap and so much adventure. While I went around looking at yarn, they got to snuggle up with a movie. The carriage house is filled with yarn, but also so much more. Some clothing items, some bags, some socks. I was even inspired to purchase some sock blockers as well as the mini skein. Chatting with the owner was such a delight, but unfortunately I was having so many technical difficulties that my microphone wasn't working and I wasn't able to capture the interview at all. I am so sorry about that. Even with the technical difficulties and the exhausted children, I had a great time shopping around the carriage house. I really hope I get to come back one day. I did it. I hit all 13 spots. All in all, it's just been an amazing experience. And I'm really glad that I took part in the Great Tennessee Yarn Tour. I really hope you enjoyed watching along with me as I went from place to place. I'm glad that I got to include some of my kids in this experience too, so they can learn the love of yarn shops. Each yarn store really did have a different feel. The owners, the employees, and the regulars really created their own culture inside these different yarn shops. And it was just so unique to go and explore each one. I don't think I could pick a favorite. I don't think I could pick a least favorite. They were all just so fun and unique. And I will definitely be visiting my yarn store a whole lot more. I wish I lived like right next door to all of them combined so I could visit like every day crochet along and maybe learn new skills. And I bought two felting kits and then I even bought some alpaca roving so that I can uh, learn how to spin. If there's any of the yarn shops that looked really interesting to you, if you happen to be living nearby one of these places or driving through Tennessee and you find yourself near one of these yarn shops, definitely go in and stop. Tell them I sent you. If you haven't already, please like this video so that more people can find it. Are you subscribed to my channel? Because you definitely should be. Hit that little bell so you're notified anytime I come up with any other video, like a vlog like this, stitch tutorials, or all sorts of yarn related content. I would love to have you part of my crochet community on here. Speaking of crochet community, I have a Juniper and Mountain Crochet Community Facebook group where people post pictures of what they're making, they ask questions, and we just generally to know each other so uh, make sure you're enjoying that i would love to know about your local yarn shop tell me a little bit about uh, the place that you go visit if it's michael's that's fine if it's joanne's great if there's a small little local yarn store that you visit tell me a bit about it about the culture about the aesthetic um maybe one day i'll go and visit that would be awesome happy crochet